Hello, my name is Jason, and I'm here to tell you about trying to identify a house plant. Trying to identify a house plant is a bit like trying to find the penny with a chip on it. In a bucket full of pennies, there are so many different varieties and families of plants, and sometimes different types can look remarkably similar to each other. A few things to look for when trying to identify a house plant are the shape and size of its leaves and the size of its stem or stalks are the leaves star shaped or rounded long or short is the stems of the plant fat and short or long and skinny is the texture rubbery and shiny or hairy and prickly does the plant have flowers or blooms some other things to note when trying to identify a house plant is where is the plant located both geographically and the exact location it is growing in. Is it growing in the shade, or growing in direct sunlight? Is the surrounding terrain rocky and barren, or lush and green? What is the geographical weather like? Humid and hot, cool and dry, or a mix of the two? All of the above mentioned factors can help you rule out particular types of plants when trying to identify a house plant. Also look at the size of the plant overall, and the size of the pot. Trying to identify a house plant can be time consuming if you don't educate yourself on where to look for. They can all start to blend together and look the same if you don't know where to look for. Once you learn the five nuances of plant identification however, no two plants will ever look the same for you again. One thing that you can do is try a little online research for photos of various species. Many sites will offer a type of picture catalog that you can do a search for the characteristics of the plant you are trying to identify. Another option is to purchase a few books on various types of plants for food. You can possibly find a bunch of that menu as well. Trying to identify how the plant is important, because we don't know what kind of plant it is. You have to give it the proper care that is needed for optimal growth. That means your plant may not grow high up to its full potential. Trying to identify a house plant is also important for safety purposes. If you have small children or pets, some house plants may not be safe to keep around due to the toxic effects if a leaf is eaten. Many dogs like to munch on stray leaves, and if you accidentally get a house plant that is toxic, you could end up making your pet extremely sick. While trying to identify a house plant is by no means an easy or fun job it is unfortunately very necessary.